you're listening to the Digitally Irresistible Podcast, where we cover the optimization of digital technologies and irresistible people. Brought to you by i Each episode features someone who sheds a little more light on the ins and outs of delivering a great employee and customer experience that has a measurable impact on the business. And now, here's today's guest. Hey there, welcome to another episode of the Digitally Irresistible Podcast. I'm your host, Bernie Borges. Today's guest is Kevin Talaska Dizik. Welcome, Kevin. Well, thank you, Bernie. I'm so happy to be here with you on the Digitally Irresistible Podcast. Glad to have you. Glad to have you, Kevin. Kevin, as the CEO of digital marketing agency BKN Creative, which we at iCore are privileged to work with, you are in the business of experience marketing. And as you know, in the seventh edition of the State of Marketing Report from Salesforce, we're seeing that 80% of marketing leaders say that they lead customer experience initiatives across the entire business. So Kevin, clearly the dots are connecting between experience marketing and customer experience. So on this episode, let's unpack that. Let's get into that. I want to discuss with you what exactly is meant by experience marketing and how is how does it have everything to do with customer experience, i.e. good CX? But first, Kevin, as you know, we always like to start with your backstory. Give us your backstory. How did you get to where you are today? Absolutely. Well, I am the CEO and co-founder of BKN Creative, which is a full-service creative marketing agency here in Tampa, although we do service Colorado and New York and New Mexico as well. Um, and we are a minority-owned business. We are a certified LGBTB uh, business to the NGLCC, which is the National Gay and Lesbian Chamber of Commerce. And we are 100% uh, owned by me and my husband, and then, of course, have a staff of 11. But that is where I am now. So where I started was actually when uh, I lived in Colorado. So I'm originally from Colorado and went to school. I have a Bachelor of Fine Art in Commercial Photography. I moved out to New York City, which is really where I got into the marketing uh, field and certainly more of the creative field. And so I worked in marketing at Whole Foods Market. And when Amazon kind of came through, uh, my husband was laid off at the same time from his, uh, his job. And so that took us down here to Florida, where we worked at several different agencies. And the agency world is fantastic. It's full of creatives and strategies and marketing and huge clients. Uh, But there was one thing that didn't resonate as much with me. And that was this idea of a culture that I that I was really hoping for an inclusive, fun, exciting culture that really wasn't driven by money, um, or, you know, just sell those products to get to get that that uh, to meet that number. And so I wanted to create an agency that focused more on the passion and the why of uh, why people do what they do. And, and so, uh, cut to became creative. So I started with just me and, uh, we have now grown to an 11 team member, um, or an 11 team member size company here in Tampa. Although we have a team member that lives out in New York city, South Florida, New Mexico, and one that's actually, uh, in Europe currently. And so that's, that's pretty, pretty exciting. So that's kind of the, you know, a lot happens between that, but that's the overall journey of uh, what brought me to being the CEO of the Camp Creative. Fantastic. Well, again, uh, we have the privilege of working with you and your team and enjoying every minute of that. So tell me, uh, customer experience, it's really becoming the domain of the marketing function, right? We saw that in the, in the Salesforce report. So why do you see that happening? What's going on there? Well, it's interesting. I think that it's worth describing what experience marketing actually is because that term has been dubbed as something different than what we use at BKN Creative, um, certainly within our agency. So experience marketing is actually the strategy of in-person events with the purpose of marketing something. And so that's really what that term means. But we took that term to actually describe the overall customer journey and what the experience is in that journey. And that whole thing to me is experience marketing, right? So the introduction to your brand all the way until somebody has closed out this uh, product purchase or service, and they kind of swing back around to utilize your service all over again. It's a circular motion, right? Uh, Which I know you've had a previous episode about that concept. And so this is very, very similar in, in the idea of 
you know, the entire experience in a customer journey has to always be kind of an elite experience so that they're always drawn back in. And there's so many touch points throughout that entire process, but uh, that's really experience marketing uh, to became creative to our agency. At i we help companies design self-service support that is both convenient and personal to their customers. From intelligent virtual assistants powered by the latest in natural language processing technology to video tutorials, i is leading the way in keeping customers happy and on the go. Smile with i -Core. Learn more at i Okay. So, you know, I mentioned in the introduction, Kevin, that you're, you're in the business of experience marketing. So well, let's unpack that a little bit. Right. How, how do you and your team at BKN Creative actually approach experience marketing? That's a great question. So at our agency, the idea is to really understand uh, somebody's why, right? So why are you doing what you are doing? And what is the service or product that you are fulfilling, which would be some sort of a need? And so we start with that. So why do you want to do what you do? So um, any company or let's say any brand that comes into BKN Creative, that's really our first question. What motivates you? Like, what are your passions and why have you started this brand? And that really starts to go into the branding, right? And the branding is really that first stage of this experience. And that is, what's your name? What's your logo? Uh, what are the colors that you're choosing to use? What is your typography of the fonts? that you're really putting into your brand because all of those aspects are going to draw in someone, right? But that's only one aspect because it can be broken down then into how are you discovered? Are people um, uh, talking about your brand and drawing other customers in? Or are you, uh, do you have really great SEO? Uh, do you really have a honed in mission statement to really draw in the right person? And that's just the beginning. Then it goes into like this beginning phase, this middle phase, and then this ending phase. And the middle is the meat, right? That's like the experience for sure, where it's more or less one-on-one -on -one or the experience with the product. And then the ending is kind of, what? okay, what are you doing to further delight the customer and how are you bringing them back in? So we have this overall discussion with our potential clients, but our idea of experience marketing is really the beginning to the end and then cycling back around. And that can be translated into any product, into any service, uh, really anything that you are doing for uh, your business to work with a client or a customer. Um, and, and that whole process is really what we, what we focus on, on, on a higher level. You know, I, I like the point you made that we covered in a previous uh, recent podcast episode with Andrew Davis, which is he calls it the loyalty loop, right? Yeah. Which is this loop, right? Where that customer journey isn't linear, but there's a whole loop. And yeah. I also like to say, and, and I'm not the original author of this saying by any means, but it's it's just so true, Kevin. And that is that the experience that the customer has begins mm -hmm. with your marketing, right? The, it begins with how they, how you engage them with mm -hmm. your marketing. Absolutely. Yeah. And, and realistically, how you engage a client uh, or a customer really depends on the uh, type of industry that you're in, right? So somebody's experience with a service, let's say with um, a construction service at your home is going to be different than their experience if they're purchasing a new Apple product at a store, right? And so, but regardless of those experiences, the idea of the customer journey and the customer experience and marketing that experience uh, is actually pretty similar. And, and that is that you're always there to ensure that your customer or client is absolutely satisfied with what they're purchasing and, and the full way through. And, um, and so that, that kind of is this, this idea of, uh, in, in the loop that you're, that you brought up earlier. And that is that the customer journey actually starts before you even know it starts. And that is with someone's perception of your brand, the look of your brand, the feel of your brand, the product, what other people say about the brand as well, and how easy it is to know who you are. And so if you're not discoverable on Google, that's not great, right? Because you're actually losing a potential client and the experience is impacted. So if they, let's say that they have worked with another brand 
um, because they were more discoverable than your brand, but it was a bad experience. Well, they're actually, they already have a bad experience within the industry. So they're now introduced to your brand with not a great experience, not at your fault, but at the fault of really somebody else that, that caused this issue to happen. But you're now going to deal with it. Now, that, that's not to say that, you're not, you know, a lot of companies can be at number one, right? Keywords are, are killer. You are searchable. You're great. Uh, but somebody is always better, right? And so this is always this goal to get there. So the interesting thing is, is though, if you have honed in on every aspect of your experience marketing with your customer journey, you could actually take that client and change their mind and in perspective and give them the experience that they deserved from the get-go. Mm -hmm. So if you've really honed in on all of these aspects of a customer experience, you can actually delight every single way, every single avenue um, of this journey. And that's kind of exciting, right? Like that, yeah. to, to be able to do that for a customer is just, in, it's incredibly exciting. Yeah, yeah. Well, why don't you give us a few examples? I know I asked you to come prepared to uh, to share a couple of examples of how you and your team at BKN Creative uh, mm -hmm. uh, approach experience marketing with some of your clients. Absolutely. Uh, one of the first ones is uh, a financial institution that we uh, currently collaborate with. And one thing that I always love to say is collaborate with because then it's really a team environment as opposed to work with. Agreed. And so uh, one of our, uh, of our clients, a financial institution, came to us you know, with a need, and that was to fulfill their customer experience within social media. And, and that's a beast, right? Because social is such a behind the screen type of experience that people unload. And, and it's, uh, so, so within that, especially in the financial institution, right? Because that's, that's your money. Uh, that's something very, very dear to most people because they need it to live. And so with that, uh, their experience was, was kind of subpar. And, uh, we, you know, at, at the time they weren't, they didn't have the staff to, uh, answer questions quickly, um, route calls, route messages through social media, any of that kind of stuff. And so we really came into the fold to take what they currently had, celebrate the successes, and then look at what we call growth opportunities. Not failures, they're just growth opportunities. Okay. And so the focus was, all right, you have a brand, you have your name, you have your mission, everything is there. So let's look at what is working. Okay, these things are working, great, here is a disconnect, right? And again, not a failure, growth opportunity, this is our disconnect. So that disconnect was really being present and understanding, and with always the intention to solve, right? Not combat, uh, to solve. And so we put together a strategy within their social media to really hit every platform that they were on, as well as their review platforms, to really change the perspective of their customer service. And that was that they're helpful. There is no stupid question. There is nothing that uh, can't be solved or helped um, or delighted, right? And so we folded that into here are the hours that we're going to be covering service, right? And they are seven in the morning until eight o'clock at night, which is typically, although it's outside of a nine to five, that's usually when people are not really happy with what's happening with their banking. And, uh, and then there's other tactics that we did along the way. But that was only one small portion of this overall experience marketing, but they're killing it at some other aspects. So mm -hmm. since they were, we were able to focus on just that one thing that we are doing. And now we've expanded to do other, you know, creative elements within that, which add value to their experience. And, and one of the things before we, we switch gears uh, to another is um, we did a campaign with them and it was all about their mobile app and their mobile app was intricate. And so a lot of times, younger generation, great with mobile apps, older generation, maybe not as much, right? Uh, that digital era is, uh, is an interesting era to, to dive into. And so we created a campaign, which is an educational campaign through video that can be shared on social to show them actually how to use the features within this app, which added to the experience, added this creative element. Video is something that at became creative, although people call it video is king, or content is king. We always call it it's queen. We are a gay owned agency. And so, uh, and, and that's true. That type of medium is so digestible uh, that it is the medium to focus on for customer experience. So that's what we folded into the mold. So if somebody, you know, messages in, we can give them this video and it's great. 
Kevin, what I like about that example is yeah. that it, it speaks to the, the point we discussed earlier, and that is that the marketing experience that they have is part of that customer experience. So you, yeah. you and your team took what was already working, built on top of that, created more better experiences, which just yeah. delivered a better overall customer experience. So great example. Thank you for sharing that. Uh, I know you have another one ready to go, so uh, love to hear that one. I do. And this one I'll share the name of. I uh, So one of our, our friends who actually ran the Business Connect program here in Tampa for when the Super Bowl was here, um, she created a DE&I consultation company. And that company is called the Arenda Collective. And that company goes into, you know, organizations, corporations to really teach and instill a sense of DEI. So that's diversity, inclusion, uh, or diversity, equity, and inclusion. And so that is all about being as inclusive and diverse within your company as you can. And that stretches from humans to leadership to benefits, all of the above. And so she came to us with an idea, and we did exactly from the beginning to the end. So we said, okay, what makes sense for your name? What's your why? What's your mission? Okay, we did some name ideation, branding, color story to really draw in what makes sense for the initiatives, right? Typography. And then we went into the mission statement, everything. Uh, and so we branded, right? And then we built a website, discoverability, SEO, keywords, all the way into when she is booking a potential client, which would be a corporation or you know, any sort of small to, to large size company uh, to focus on What's the experience that you're providing? You don't walk in and you're not like, oh, you guys are horrible. You're not doing this at all. Again, growth opportunity. So, hey, you've brought me in to consult on what you can do to grow. So let's focus on growing. Here's what you're doing great right now. Here's some opportunities. And so that really lends itself into the idea of referrals. So if she's walking in to a, a company and really putting this DNI strategy together, hiring for the company, and then Walking away, but still supporting that company, she has actually created this overall marketing experience um, and customer experience to a high level corporate, right? She's touching more than one person uh, within that experience, but she's created this overall experience that is incredible. And so that company will surely refer her out. Uh, but she has hit every step of the way up until what we do now, which is we regulate and run all of her marketing uh, initiatives. So we do her email marketing, we do all of her social media and more. And that whole experience has really lended itself into her uh, success. And so now uh, she has opened up under our advisement and, and creative direction, uh, a foundation, her nonprofit, and that is to provide micro grants to minorities uh, so that they can too create their small business with the idea of experience marketing throughout that business as well. Excellent. Excellent. Yeah. Great. Thank, thank you for sharing that example. Yeah. So large financial services company, smaller uh, startup consulting company yeah. in the DNI yeah. and space. And I think you have one more you're ready to share. My gosh, I, I think that that company is called Icor. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so we are absolutely privileged to collaborate with uh, you and the entire marketing team with Icor on uh, a, a social media. And that has been an incredible experience. We are able to dive into, uh, you know, same as what we did with our financial institution. Here is what's the success. Here's some growth opportunities. Let's build a strategy on how we can engage uh, not only, you know, potential clients for i but also their team members. Um, i has such a robust culture, and I think that that's what's worth celebrating. And so why not uh, utilize your most powerful platforms to celebrate the culture of i -Corps? And I think that, that that alone gives an experience not only to future team members, but to your core team member group now because they can celebrate with you. And I think that that has been, from our perspective, certainly a shift uh, in seeing how the engagement with social media has come on, certainly how team members have started to engage a little bit more as well. And uh, a lot more goes into that. But I think that, you know, i -Corps, and certainly with the introduction of the Digitally Irresistible podcast that you do, Bernie, is 
you have really shifted in your overall experience as well um, uh, with the services that you provide, but also with the team members that you that you have. And it's incredibly powerful. You're a global company. And I think that, you know, our uh, partnership certainly has lended itself into creating this robust experience marketing that was already there for i but it was just building upon yeah. um, what was already great into I, something. I, I, I totally agree. And to your point, Kevin, you know, we're a global company. We're in, in the range of approximately 40,000 employees globally. Yeah. And as you pointed out, we're not just reaching the marketplace, but we're reaching our own employee base. Yeah. And yep. you and your team are helping us do that and helping us create that experience that can reach our own employee base, which is just as important as reaching the marketplace. Right? Absolutely. And sometimes, sometimes more, right? Because yeah. happy, happy team members actually equate to better. Business. Exactly. So, yeah, exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Fantastic. Well, before I transition to the, the latter part of this conversation, uh, let sure. me just give you uh, an invitation. Where would you like to send anyone who's watching this, uh, online, where would you like to send them to to learn more about you and your team at BKN Creative? Oh, certainly. Uh, there's two places that you could find us. You could find us at bkncreative.com. And that's B-K-N uh, creative.com. The same handle on social, so at BKN Creative. And then if you would like to learn more about myself, of course, LinkedIn is a powerful platform to learn about anyone professionally. And so I'm the only Kevin Talaska on that, uh, on that platform. And so uh, obviously, within this podcast, my name will be up there. It is an intense name. Uh, but on social media, my handle is actually Kevin Talaska. So at Kevin Talaska. And I encourage, you know, I, I, those are platforms, any platform for social, I'm pretty robust on since, you know, we have a marketing agency that works in yeah. it. So any of those places. Absolutely. So anyone watching on video, it's scrolling right below. Uh, plus, his name is right there uh, just below him. And if you're uh, just listening on audio, it's going to be in the show notes. So just scroll down to the show notes and it's right there. Kevin, as you know, uh, it is tradition here on the Digitally Irresistible podcast. We always like to ask each and every guest, when you're not working, what do you like to do for fun? Uh, great question. I do like to have fun. Uh, I'll, I'll break it down to two, two main things. Uh, the very first is that I'm also an actor. And so if I am not, uh, you know, running this, uh, incredible agency, I am, uh, either doing theater locally or, uh, have broken into the film industry as well. So I've done a film currently working on a television show. So I love, love, love to perform. And then outside of that, uh, the next thing that I love to do, I'm originally from Colorado, and so I love to mountain bike. And although we live in Florida, there are some pretty incredible trails. And so my husband and I will take our mountain bikes and we'll go trail riding uh, just at the incredible trails, even outside of here in Tampa Bay. Uh, that's probably the most um, fun thing that that we like to do outside of working on our house. So. Fantastic. Well, do let us know anywhere we can catch your your acting performance anywhere, whether it's on film or community theater. And uh, we've actually talked off camera about our, our, our mutual interest and uh, appreciation for mountain biking. I used to live in California, yep. did a fair amount of it. So appreciate that as well. Yep. Kevin, I want to thank you for joining me on this episode. This topic of experience marketing, uh, I, I think it's a topic that we need to be discussing more often. Mm -hmm. I think Absolutely. we need to be raising the visibility of the importance of the customer experience really begins with the experience that we create in, in marketing to our end customer. And it, it needs to be good from the very beginning and, and not mm -hmm. just focused on when they become a customer. It's a holistic approach. And I really appreciate the perspective that you bring and the expertise that you and your team at BKN Creative bring to experience marketing and the impact that it has on the customer experience. Well, Bernie, I really appreciate that. And I think on a, on a parting note, uh, the piece of advice that I could give to anyone that is, that is watching, certainly any entrepreneurs out there, is to look at what you wouldn't think to look at. And so not only is it what you think like, oh, we got to have a good product and the service has to be, you know, whatever. But what are those details within your experience that sometimes get overlooked? Uh, and it could be as simple as uh, offering water in your office when somebody comes to visit you right? Something simple. Uh, but look at all of those things because in any, uh, and on the entire journey or the spectrum of, you know, uh, experience marketing from beginning, middle to end, you have all the in-between too. And so focus on all of those things to make sure that you are always delighting 
uh, in servicing your client, whether it's a product or a service. Great advice. Thank you, Kevin. Absolutely. Thanks for having me. Thanks for listening to this episode of the Digitally Irresistible podcast, where we cover the optimization of digital technologies and irresistible people, delivering a great employee and customer experience that has a measurable impact on the business. Brought to you by i Be sure to subscribe on your favorite podcast player so you don't miss future episodes.